carrying on with uh, tables here, we're going to look at uh, a table again about the dogs on the beach. And in this case, um, the table's been given to us incomplete, and this happens. Sometimes tables will be given blanks, and you'll need to work backwards to figure out what goes in here. And it just kind of helps us understand how, how all the pieces of the table go together anyways. So if I'm trying to work backwards, I need to figure out any two spaces on the, or any row or column on the table that only has one thing missing. So the first thing I notice here is down at the total side. I've got 180, I've got 92 dogs that do not chase cats, and I don't know how many do chase cats, but I know if there's 180 total, and 92 of them are not chasing the cats, that this one is going to be 180 minus 92. Because everything in this column should add up to 180, because that's what's been given to us as the total. So in that case, I can just think about 180 minus 92, and you get 88. So there are 88 dogs that don't chase cats, or sorry, that chase cats. Um, and there's multiple places we can go to from here. Um, I might look at the don't chase cats row here. I know I've got a total of 92 of them because it ends with a total of 92. If 67 of them like cats, the number of them that don't like cats, again, is going to be that subtraction, 92 minus 67. And in this case, we're going to get 25. So, I might go ahead and total up this column. If there's 30 that dislike cats and chase cats, and there's 25 that dislike and don't chase cats, if I add those together, I get a total of 55 that dislike cats. I'm working backwards just to fill in those last bits. If I have a total of 88 dogs that will chase cats, 30 of them don't like the cats, how many of them do? That'd be 88 minus 30, which gets us 58. And again, totaling up this column at the end. Or you could work backwards and think I'm supposed to have 180 total. I've got 55 here and working backwards here. So either way, subtracting 55 off of 180 or adding 58 and 67, you'll get 125. So that's how we're going to work backwards to fill in that table. And unlike the previous video, here I'm actually giving you the individual numbers of dogs that have responded to these different categories. So it's not the proportion in there, it's not the probability, it's the individuals again, so we will have to do that division. So I want to find a few probabilities, um, and the first one we're going to look at is just the probability that a random dog chosen off the beach will select will um, chase cats. And so how many dogs in total chase cats? 58 and 30 is 88 total. So I have 88 out of 180. And that works out, so 0 0.4889. So the next thing we're going to look at is what's the probability that they like cats given that they chase cats? So this is one of those given problems, and I'm going to highlight that word in yellow. And we're going to talk about it here because this is the conditional probability, a given problem. And so what happens in this case is that we're given a hint. So instead of saying, well, what's the chances that I get a dog that likes cats? I'm giving you a hint to narrow it down even more. It's like, a, you know, it really is a hint. It makes it easier on you to guess. So I'm saying, well, instead of guessing that probability out of all of the dogs, I'm going to give you a hint and say, well, this randomly selected dog likes to chase cats as well. So I'm narrowing it down. So what I'm looking at in this first problem is given that they chase cats, so I'm looking at only these dogs here. The other ones don't matter anymore because I know that the dog that I'm looking for here, the chance that I'm looking for here, is out of these 88 total because that we know that it chases cats. So that's the hint there. Instead of out of 180, it's now going to be out of 88 because I'm only looking at 88 dogs that actually chase cats. So I'm going to get my 88, and above that, um, I need to get the probability that they like cats. So out of the 88, 58 of them like cats, so it's going to be 58 out of 88. And that works out to 0 0.6591. And so you need to think about what you're looking for, what we want, which is that they like cats, out of the possible given. So that's with the hint included, so narrowed down. So instead of out of 180, we're out of only 88. So look at another example. What's the probability that they dislike cats and they chase cats? 
So they dislike cats is 30, and down this column here, and that they chase cats is again just that 30. And here I'm not being given any hints, so I'm just looking for what's the probability that they both dislike and chase cats. But there's no hint that's been given, no other information has been given to us, so that's still out of the total 180. 0.1667. So again, no conditional probability there. I just want them that dislike cats and chase cats. So number four, um, chase cats, given, so again we got a hint here, given that they like cats. So I'm going to use my highlighter to figure out what's the group of cats, or what's the group of dogs up there that like the cats. And so this is what we're looking for here. Out of that group, how many of them chase cats? So my given becomes my out of, and that's what goes on the bottom. So the probability that they like cats is 125 of them total. And given that information, the probability that they chase cats is going to be 58 out of 125. And you get 0 0.46. So those are a few examples. Again, with a given, you need to narrow it down to what the out of is, and that becomes what's on the bottom of your fraction. So I'm just going to go back up onto the other side of the worksheet and finish off those problems that we left behind that were the given ones. So here, looking at male and female dogs and what color they are, what's the probability you have a brown dog given it is a female dog? So here, my given is that it's a female dog. So I'm looking out of this whole group here. So out of that group, what's the probability? Sorry, out of that group, how many of them are there? And that's my proportion there. So given that it's a female, I've got the 0 0.675 on the bottom. That's my out of. And I can use the proportion there. And the probability that it's brown out of that group is 0 0.1. And that works out to be 0 0.1481. So again, given that that's the female dog, I'll use the proportion of female dogs, which is the total there, 0 0.675. And out of that group, only 0 0.1 of them are brown. So 0 0.1 out of 0 0.675. In the first table, um, taking a look at our hints again, What's the probability that a dog does not fetch sticks, given that they stay when they are asked? So again, think of this as a hint. You don't have to pick out of all 180 dogs anymore, you only have to pick out of the ones that stay when asked. So again, this is the out of, and it becomes the bottom of the fraction. So those that stay when asked will be 52 total. And out of that group, out of those 52, how many of them do not fetch sticks? We can see 14. So 14 out of 52, and we get a probability of 0 0.2692. Maybe we'll use a different color here. So don't stay when asked, given that they fetch sticks. So using that as our hint, given that they fetch sticks. So those that fetch sticks, everybody in this row here, And out of that group that fetch sticks, which is just 84 dogs, so again, that's my out of, how many of them don't stay when they're asked? We can see in that case it's 46 of them do not stay when they're asked. So 46 out of 84 will get you 0 0.5476. So again, with the conditionals, think about identifying what your out of is. It narrows down the table. It means you can ignore other parts of the table. So you narrow it down to the hint that you've been given which should be a smaller number than the total, and then look out of that group that you've been given as a hint, look for the number that you actually want. So again, in this case, out of the 84 dogs that fetch sticks, I wanted the probability that they don't stay, so that's only 46 out of those 84 that I've been given as a hint.